첫 번째 뭐 그냥 수요대로 할까? 오케이. Okay. Are we on? Yeah. Hi everyone. This is Crypto Soul. Erica. I'm looking at the screen right. We're on a different like background right now, but it's okay. You don't need to lean lean over. <laughs> it'll it'll pick up your voice. Okay. <laughs> yeah, as long as you project. <clears throat> All right. Um. So this is Sheehan, the blockchainers. Hey. What's hey, up? Hey internet. <laughs> hey internet. Hey crypto world. <laughs> so we have some news today. Um, the first one uh, is about Daily Financial Group. It secured a Series B investment from Japanese financial group SBI. Let's show the link. Do you have a link to? Okay. So the exact amount in terms of the investment were not the um, But you, as we know, Daily Financial Group is a huge fintech group in Korea. It has diverse um, businesses in robot uh, advisory, blockchain, um, like AI, cryptocurrency, and it owns CoinOne, the exchange. So it's famous for that. And they previously owned The Loop, mm. which is now the Icon Foundation. Yes, that's a huge, huge plus. Uh -huh. <laughs> and um, we hope that the investment could be a really good sign for the you know group to expand globally, um, like Northeast Asia, in Japan, uh, or even in like Southeast Asia as well. So, hello, Black, Black Capital One. Hello. Anyway, yeah. so um, that's the news uh, of our daily financial group. So congratulations on the investment. Yeah, I don't... Yeah, they're, they start originally had Yellow Mobile invest in them, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Yellow Mobile, who is a unicorn. Mm -hmm. uh, they had previously invested in the Daily Financial Group. I, I think that's how they kicked everything off. They mm -hmm. started everything off, but... Mm -hmm. Yeah, so now it's Series B, and they they got their backing from SPI. So we'll see what happens with uh, the Korean well fintech space in the future. Yeah, and um, these days, I mean, especially like for Icon and the good things that Coin One's doing. I mean, they're having really good performance, and due to that, uh, this financial group is growing like day by day. Mm -hmm. So hopefully, we can have them on our interview. Yeah, <laughs> soon. Soon. very soon very soon so stay tuned for that um second news should we go to second news yes let's go okay let's go uh it's about bitham exchange um <laughs> not really pleasant news but uh, we we know that there has been a group lawsuit against bitham and it's expected to begin actually next week and let's show the link yeah. yeah oh there's no link there's oh no link. link okay so it's um you're just gonna have to take our word for it we know we know these secrets yes there's gonna be a total of 136 individuals who are going to form an organization to actually sue with them for hacking incident which involved like their lost um personal information as well as their fund so a lot of the amount of fun uh the amount of fund that is lost is approximately four million dollars so Damn! It's a huge okay. incident. I mean, it, it, in some ways, like that's that's really not that much. But right, if you right. consider that 164, 136 people were um, involved with this, it's a pretty big deal. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So um, it's going to finally begin next week. So we'll see what happens to it. Can we can we say some more juicy information? Wait, which, well, I don't, <laughs> I don't know. Well, okay, let's see. So <laughs> so this hacking incident is so some some people actually had their money lost. Mm -hmm. Is is did they lose their money because of their personal information leak? I don't think that really... No, I don't think that's the case. That's I mean, not related? No, no. It's like either personal information or a fund or even both. Okay. So it's like, um, it's not correlated. All right. So something that I've heard, mm -hmm. the word on the street mm -hmm. is... Uh, I heard Bitham's legal team is incredibly yes, strong. That's what I heard. Yeah, so mm. it might not like <laughs> if you go to their website, it looks very ghetto. It, right. It kind of looks like localbitcoins.com. Like the UI <laughs> UI is not up to par. But mm. I hear that behind them, their legal team and stuff, there mm -hmm. are some it's not like Samsung level, mm -hmm. but there are some pretty big players there mm -hmm. who are uh, in the shadows. Sure. And so they have a very, very good legal team and it, it'll be it's, it's expected that the group lawsuit won't get very far. Not really. Yeah, I yeah. heard that. I heard that the same legal team actually took on the Supreme Court, the Korean Supreme Court back in the days. Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. <laughs> As, we're on the street. We're on the street. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Not confirmed. Yeah. Nobody can confirm it. <laughs> no one can confirm it. But I've also heard the news that Bitham is uh, backed by a huge, you know, very strong player. Yeah. And that um, it can, it's unbeatable. <laughs> yeah. I, we, yeah, there weren't there previous previous instances where uh, people from Bitham 
after after the employees got like you know they got fired or whatever mm-hmm. they tried a lawsuit too but then oh. or, or before they got fired they were talking about like how they were gonna lawsuit bit them and mm-hmm. then I, I just happen to know some people, mm-hmm. and they said Bitthumb's attitude was bring it on. Oh, we're, we're gonna we're, be we're you probably, we're, gonna yeah, we're probably not gonna lose. <laughs> wow. So it's, it's kind of um, it's that whole um, wet versus dry law thing mm-hmm. where, mm-hmm. you know, if you have smart contract, because we live in a wet wet <laughs> law world, mm-hmm. if you have if you hire better lawyers and mm-hmm. if you can amass enough capital to sure. go go to, go to hiring your lawyers, then you probably won't lose to a measly lawsuit. No, an exchange. I mean, like Bitham, the it's going to be involved in a lot of lawsuits. I mean, I mean, in the future, right? I mean, like because it's, yeah. you know, it has legal issues, and you know, but if the strong team, it can go pretty far. <laughs> yeah, Bith- Bitham is. They're only focused on business. doing their business. business yeah, their yeah. business and their exchange mm-hmm. only focus on that. So yeah. with they're, that, it's like it's kind of like where you gotta cover more ground if you're gonna have custodial accounts mm-hmm. of uh, cryptocurrency private keys. Yes, you know, like information security is key. But um, they ha- they've had some problems with it in the past. Mm-hmm. So um, yeah, I mean, we'll see what what happens. <laughs> It's funny that okay. What's what's the next bit of news? So about Bitham, I mean, we've seen that corporate has been acquired by Nexon, um, and I think maybe Bitham shareholders are selling their stocks of Bitham. I mean, because they're aware that the exchange value is very high. Mm-hmm. Looking at Corbett's example, and so Corbett's value was estimated at like four hundred forty million dollars, and you know, considering that Bitham is going to be at a higher value, mm-hmm. considering the volume of you know um, transactions. So I think um, they're sh- selling like little by little their shares so that they can earn you know profit. Okay, yeah, we'll we'll see. I, I mean, don't know. it's just a little bit of news, but yeah, and um, it's just so we we work pretty close together. We walk work at a five <laughs> minute walking distance, but sure. yeah. pretty close to where we work. About in a two hundred meter, three hundred meter radius, we both have Bitham, Bitham? and Corbett. Yes, yeah, right there. It's like we can just it's walk right by there. It. Yeah. <laughs> so, FYI, I mean, if you guys ever figure out where we where we work, <laughs> you, I guess you'll know where Bitham and Corbett is. But. Center of you know exchanges. Yeah, we all of a sudden we have like millionaires popping right now ne- popping up right next to us they have a really nice building you know that corbett no bitham no i don't i don't really like their building no they, they have a building that's they, a, that's they a, have a building yeah they have a whole entire they have actually have two buildings oh oh wow because there's customer service center <laughs> right they actually have two buildings okay. and like they're both pretty nice yeah but i mean i think the corbett office is nicer yeah in my opinion never been to corbett yeah it's pretty nice all right yeah tony has good taste <laughs> Hi, honey. Hi, JM. Oh, uh, like that button. Yeah, please like our show. Like, <laughs> like, 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 like. Erica show. Erica show. Okay. All right. Next up. Next up is um. So this has been a pretty um, popular news these days. There's been uh, news about Chain ID. Um, so Chain ID is actually a verification system that um, like securities companies will use. Um, Korean securities companies, domestic. So 11 securities companies will use this and you can now access to one account. Then you can just like um, verify through all the 11, you know, securities companies. So that's pretty major, right? So it's um, it's been launched uh, recently and yeah, the list of um, the 11 South Korean securities companies include Taishin, Merits, Shinhan, Yuanta, Eugene, Evest, KB, Kium, Hana, Korean Investment Security Studies, and Hanwha. So it's major the major groups of only South Korean like local securities companies. And so, um, yeah, uh, that's been the news a few days ago. And today, there's been news that even the banking industry is considering um, that they have launched a contract um, with to do that similar thing. So it's going to be in development soon, and it's going to launch about next year, early next year. Okay. So yeah, that's the major news here, and this link is showing about the banking um, blockchain business. So the verification system um, building for the banking. Yeah, if you guys are ever curious about this, you can always uh, we have our links. We share mm-hmm, all the mm-hmm. links that we share mm-hmm. uh, in the description um, line below. So you can click on that and then <clears> use <throat> Google Translate to kind of read through it. Yeah, yeah. So no, here's uh, another mm-hmm. one. This, right. Yeah, this is for the um, securities companies, the chain ID okay. development. So tell me, so for those people who might not know, 
tell us how uh, the securities companies work with the bank with the banking sector. So this is like blockchain hasn't been applied to the banking sector in Korea. Mm-hmm. But it's only been applied to the securities companies, right? Right. So how, how, where do you use Chain ID? Where do you use Chain ID? When you log on to the website. Okay. So you have this tab of like um, verification system, and it's called Korean. It's called Coin Engine. Ah, okay, okay, yeah. Our, so you our, click that yeah, button. Yeah, we have a, we have our own PKI system. Yeah. So if like there's one for each bank or mm-hmm. securities companies, and if you press that, you can access to the online website, and you can tra- do transactions, um, at, and just trading. But um, if one site goes down, if that site goes down, you can't use any of it. But if you use blockchain, then um, you can actually just if even if one site goes down, it's still gonna have the same verification system, so it's not gonna easily go down. Oh yeah, I thought okay, well. Maybe maybe I understood it wrong, but I thought another perk of Chain ID was so in Korea it's actually pretty interesting. Mm-hmm. Little background information, um, like I know that outside of Korea, like for example, let's say I use my credit card. Mm-hmm. Once I once people get a hold of my credit card information, they can just freely use it. Mm-hmm. But in Korea, a lot of the um, because we're 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 a company with uh, we're a country with pretty good into high tech high tech com- country infrastructure. Yeah, infrastructure. Mm-hmm. So everybody actually keeps their own private keys yeah. so we actually have a pki system mm-hmm. but the problem with this is just like any blockchain mm-hmm. pki system it's extremely uncomfortable mm. and um our our authorization there's one single government infrastructure that gives the authorization on it mm-hmm. except that once it goes through this particular infrastructure let's say i use there's like bank a b c c d and e mm-hmm. let's say i get my pki through the government infrastructure uh, through the authority and i get it through bank A, mm-hmm. then I need to, when I want to use it for bank B, C, D, and E, yeah. I need to go ahead and register, yeah. link it again and again and again and mm-hmm. again. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. I think, I could be wrong, isn't Chain ID supposed to like bypass that? Yeah. So it's yeah. a little bit easier. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we still we still get to keep our own PKI, mm-hmm. but not uh, the private keys, but nonetheless, it's just done in a very different way. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Hyunil says, what about Coin One? Do they have good taste? Yes. <laughs> Have you been to the offline office? Um, the the customer set. What you, what service center. Service center. Blocks. Coin blocks. Blocks. Coin. Yeah. Never yeah. been actually. I, I should have gone, but um, it's pretty far from here. So, yeah. um, but it, I've seen the pictures and it's great. So, um, Coin was doing a you know has a very high taste and it's the first one, right? I mean, having a customer service offline, right? Yeah. For an exchange to have. Yeah, I think they could have spent their money a little bit better. But. <laughs> <laughs> that's my personal opinion, so forget it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Share your crypto portfolio with us, oh, Raymond Cho. That's a very sensitive. Is it? <laughs> I don't even have a. I thought you hodl Bitcoin. Yeah, so I, <laughs> I have a full time job in blockchain, and I have hundred percent payment in Bitcoin. So obviously, my Bitcoin um, amount is getting higher and higher, but. Yeah, I can't. Can you share your portfolio? Uh, I I have a I'm 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 kind of like a crypto whore. <laughs> <laughs> Everything. Yeah, and you know, hey, folks. I was, CN is a crypto whore. Oh my god. Um, <laughs> shit coins galore. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, yeah. Last just, coin. <laughs> no, no, no. What are you talking about? Yeah. A healthy dose of Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Litecoin goes a long way. I think. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'm just saying, like, you have you're like Litecoin, right? I do have Litecoin. Yeah, you do have Litecoin. Yeah, yeah. I do. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't shill. I don't shill the fuck out of it. <laughs> Charlie, thank you for the interview. <laughs> thank you. We want to have more interviews in the future. But I, I just, yeah, it's just, it's just a good, diverse portfolio. Yeah. I don't know. I don't really know about the other stuff. Yeah. I do. I do hold some other stuff, but yeah. that's more of. Um, I want to be involved in that project. I mean, I'm that's interested true. in it as a computer science project mm. more than I, more than me being interested in it as an investment. Even Ethereum, it inv- it excites me more as a very creative computer science project mm-hmm. than an investment. The only way um, I have Ethereum is by Vitalik. He sent me. <laughs> oh, he sent you. Oh, okay. <laughs> anyway, yeah, Hangar, hello. Contact I think with- I think he has that Playboy bunny, the dancers emojis because you wore your bunny. Oh, thing is that the reason? I don't know. Seriously? Yeah. Well, I should have done better today. Yeah, so Hyunin says, yeah, Korea used to rely on RSA-based certificates and you need for every financial institution. So Chain ID brings that convenience of needing only one certificate for all within the network. Ah, thank you for the explanation. Yeah, so it'll, it'll, I think, I think it'll um, have some impact mm-hmm. on, uh, in Korea. 
Mm -hmm. And like, having that in mainstream, I mean, blockchain in ma mainstream financial industry, it's pretty big. So, mm -hmm. and even um, today, there was an interview, well, not interview, but there was news um, on the FSS Financial Supervisory Service uh, head. He commented that Chain ID is a very good example of you know integrating block um, the new technologies into the existing financial industry. So yeah. he he was very positive about it. Okay. So it's a good sign. Yeah. Yeah. We'll start. And what's our next? Is it not this? No. Not this? No. Okay. No. No. Oh, so yeah, um, just minor news. Well, my, not minor, but it's, yeah, we're not going to do that one, but oh, Mediblock. Okay. So yeah. So Mediblock ICO is going to begin <laughs> in November 13th. Um, I mean, they're going to do an interview with Mediblock. Yeah, we're, we're doing an interview with Mediblock uh, on the 11th. On November 9th, mm -hmm. 9 p.m., mm -hmm. um, you'll find our find a link on our Twitter and on our YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. uh, it'll be it'll be on the Korean YouTube channel just because it, the interview will primarily be, be done in, in Korean. Korean. Mm -hmm. And um, interesting, like first of all, we're not like yeah, we are we are being paid for the interview, sure, but we are not um, advising them in any way. No, 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 no. no and uh, we don't want to like feed into like ICO madness. Oh, but right, I think right. it is interesting because. Uh, both both the co-founders of the Mediblock team are they majored in computer science, so they were former developers and they are doctors and these at the same time. Isn't that awesome? Which is incredible. So I'm so amazed. Even now, like their strategy focuses on um, touching both the crypto uh, crypto blockchain sphere mm -hmm. and and the and the medicine mm -hmm. industry, medical industry. Yes. So they'll actually be able to answer very. Um, astute questions about what the problem is that mm -hmm. the current uh, medical industry suffers and how they are planning to solve or apply blockchain technology yes to they have like both it. they have like the practitioning that they're practitioners and they have like the background information about like they know how to do programming and they know everything yeah so That's we'll right. have the link so you guys can definitely tune in um yeah. Uh, 9th of ninth of November, nine PM at mm -hmm. the Blockchainers. Okay, there's another question. Can you see? Can we see the question? Yes, absolutely. Okay, so best crypto on <laughs> one um, I don't. <laughs> I don't know. Do you know? Yeah. Yeah. Power to achieve. What is South Korea's favorite cryptocurrency? Ether. Ether. And BCH recently. Yeah. Yeah. Ether, um, BCH, and Ripple. Mm, Ripple too, really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ripple had a meetup yesterday in Korea. It was like either it's the first time. Yeah. Yeah, and it was a pretty big one um, meetup. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it has a really strong Korean um, supporting, you know, base. But and it's pretty depressed that the price isn't going up. But um, yeah, still, <laughs> it's a very strong community. And also, Quantum is pretty big in yeah, Korea as yeah. well. Um, and yeah, I'm considering looking at the Kakao, I mean, Koreans use Kakao talk as their main, like one of the main, like, um, like talking like, messaging, apps. messaging apps. And um, even like, besides Telegram, they also use Kakao. And so they have like 900 people in one room talking about quantum. Oh, wow. So it's pretty crazy. That is insane. Yeah, I think I think Korea is influenced a lot by what go, what goes down in China. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm, yeah. Definitely, and they're very curious about it. Neo, so. Quantum, mm. BCH, those are all Chinese influenced. Right, and then right. Ethereum and Ripple. I mean, that's just. I mean, Ripple. That's the whole like, mm -hmm. oh, banks are gonna make us rich, mm -hmm, and then Ethereum. Mm -hmm. You know, with the Church of Vitalik, mm -hmm, of course, mm -hmm. and BTC, of course, of course, obviously, <laughs> yes. Of but course. even but now, I feel like if I go to a lot of Korean community sites, a lot of people are shilling BCH. Really? Yeah. Oh. I don't know why they're doing it, but there's mm. a lot of. Uh, mm, really. I, I don't know. Yeah, maybe maybe it's a regional thing, but I feel like Korea. There's uh, there's people want to get rich off of BCH more than they do off of BTC. Ah. Same thing with Ethereum, right? Yeah. Because yeah. we have like we have more volume. Oh, not more volume, but like more percentage of volume when mm -hmm. it comes to Ethereum Classic coming out of Korea than Ethereum. That's true. So, yeah. Who knows? Yeah. Um, yeah, and also um, more news about the meetup. There's, I mean, there's so many projects coming to Korea actually. And um, tomorrow there's a meetup by Cyber Miles, and yeah, it's pretty big as well. And yeah, there are many. A Lisk meetup is coming soon, right? The Lisk meetup. I don't know if the Lisk team is coming here. I don't think so yeah. either. But there's, a, I mean, I think another a huge like, community manager is having 
hosting the meetup. I don't I don't know if the team is coming, but still, it's having like a community like you know meetup. So mm -hmm. it's pretty big. So and then next week we have another big nice project coming to um oh. blockchainers. Yeah, you'll, you'll you'll hear about it. It's not ah. confirmed yet, so I can't say it for sure. But <gasps> okay, stay tuned. I I'm curious too as well. Mm -hmm. Just coming. <laughs> so yeah, we might have I. Icon um, in the like icon interview. Hopefully, we can have it. We're contacting them, please. <laughs> and hopefully, we'll have another you know Korean project, um, maybe post ICO. Uh, if you have any suggestions about which you know um, projects that you're curious about or any interested parties or anything, please give us um, inform uh, information or suggestions at cryptosoul at gmail .com. It's our official email yes, address. Yes, cryptosoul at gmail.com. It's, it's not a C, it's a K. It's a K. K so, for Korean. Yeah. Yes, yes. So, so many K, K R Y P T O soul at gmail.com. Yes. So I look forward to your contacts and we'll take, definitely comment on your replies. And yeah, uh, thank, thank you for listening. And we'll see you next week. Yeah, Erica wants more comments on her videos. <laughs> so y'all <you, laughs> better serve it up. <laughs> <laughs> More feedback. You're right. welcome. Thank you guys. See ya. See you next week. Bye.